All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we are going to take a look at some segment addition problems and see what we're asked and how to find it. Let's imagine that we are given the following picture. And that picture has three points on it. Okay? Those points are labeled E, F, and G. And further, these points have distances that they're given. E to F has a distance 8x minus 17. And F to G has a distance given as 5x minus 3. We don't have enough information here to do anything yet. But luckily, we're given one more piece of information. We are given that the total distance from E all the way to G, this whole distance right here, is 71. Now, with that piece of the puzzle, we can go to town, right? Think about it. We know that this piece is 8x minus 17. We know that this piece is 5x minus 3. And that when you add those pieces together, you get 71. I'll show you exactly what I mean with this broken pencil. Okay? When you put the pencil together, you have the total distance. But separated, you have two segments. You have this little piece right here. And we'll go ahead and have this little piece right here represent E to F. So that's this little piece right here. This guy right here is F to G, okay? That's this piece right here. When you put them together, you have all the way from E to G. So imagine that the pencil is 71 units long. We need to find out what each individual segment length is. And to do that, we have to find X, okay? So how do we do that? Think about it for a minute. If you had numbers here and here, you would just add them together and you'd get 71. But we don't have numbers, we have algebraic expressions. So we have to set up a little algebra problem. And here's how you do it. I'm going to write it out first using letters so you see what it is we're after. Distance from E to F. So let's write that here. This is how you write it in geometry language. The distance from E to F plus the distance from F to G, that's E to F plus F to G, is equal to the distance from one end to the other, which we'll call E all the way to G, E to G. Okay, so that's the geometry. And now we actually have to substitute in values here. So for EF, we're going to use 8x minus 17 because that's what we're given. 8x minus 17. That's EF. So now we have to add FG. So 8x minus 17 plus FG, which is 5x minus 3, plus 5x minus 3. And we said that EF plus FG equals the whole distance, which is 71. So you just put 71 over here. And what we want to do is solve for X, okay? That's what we want to do. So in order to do that, we can just start adding out these whole numbers. So first we'll add out 17. Because it's being subtracted on the left, we'll add it to both sides. And on the left, negative 17 plus 17 is just 0. And on the right, 71 plus 17 is 88. At this point, it's useful to rewrite. We now have 8x plus 5x minus 3 equals 88. So that's the state of the problem right now. Let's get rid of the minus 3. We add it to both sides. Because it's being subtracted on the left, we add it to both sides. Okay? On the left, negative 3 plus 3 is just 0. 88 plus 3 is 91. Okay? 8 plus 3 is 11. Carry the 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. So we got that. Okay. So let's 
see where we are. Let's rewrite. On the left, we just have 8x plus 5x equals 91. Okay, time to combine like terms. See, here we have two variables, both of them are x, which means because they're the same variable, we can add their coefficients, 8 and 5. So 8 plus 5 is 13. So we just write 13x equals 91. Okay, now we got to get x by itself. So it's currently being multiplied by x, 13 is, so we divide both sides by whatever the x coefficient is, which in this case is 13. So we'll divide the left and the right by 13. On the left, the numbers cancel out. 13 divided by 13 is just 1. So you have x by itself. And now we need to divide 91 by 13. Okay, if you're lazy like me, you use a calculator. 91 divided by 13 is 7. So x equals 7. Let's check it. Please check your work, people. Okay, so we know, or we think, x is 7. Well, if x is 7, then that means that if I were to plug in a 7 right there, and plug in a 7 right there, and then compute all this and add them all together, I should get 71. Okay, in other words, if I substitute in for the x value, a 7, I should be able to work out these little problems here, add up the results, and get 71. Let's see if that works. What is 8 times 7? 8 times 7 is 56. What is 56 minus 17? 39. So now I can compute that this little distance e to f is 39. And then distance f to g, let's see. 5 times 7 is 35. 35 minus 3 is 32. So this little distance here is 32. Well, now I just need to know, is 39 plus 32 71? 39 plus 32 is 71. That's how you check your problem, okay? In other words, when we set x is 7, we have a double check mark saying we are absolutely right. Okay, well, I hope this problem was helpful. If it was, please like the video. I need the likes, guys. And if you have not already, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you are always alerted to new videos on this channel. Thank you.